I'm here ahead of the second performance of the Buffalo Bill Rodeo and joined by committee member Shelly Arnsdorf. Shelly, you have a long history with the Buffalo Bill Rodeo. Tell us more about how you got involved. Oh gosh, I got started years ago as uh, running the scoreboard um, prior to becoming a committee member and that was in the, well, the 90s sometime. And um, Melvin Hill, uh, Larry Long was on the committee and they got me involved in running the scoreboard. And then after that, I was part of the Nebraska State Rodeo Association um, finals coordinator. I put the finals on for years. And the committee, the rodeo committee, recognized me as a valuable person to come get on their <laughs> committee to, to help them out. So in 2005, I got on the committee. Absolutely. Jeff White and I actually both got on it the same year. Awesome. We've well, served as co-chair of the board um, a number of times, is that correct? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, since... Uh, I believe in 11 or 13, I can't remember exactly the date. And then last year I uh, went off when uh, Justin Thompson came on awesome. as, our, as our vice chair. Definitely. Well, over the years, what has been the most rewarding part of being a part of this committee and, and just being a part of rodeo in general? Um, I grew up rodeoing um, since I was a young child and all through all the ranks, the junior rodeos, the high school rodeos, the college rodeos, the pro rodeos. And so um, just giving back to the community um, I'm very community involved in, and with my job and that kind of stuff. And so just giving back and being connected to the sport. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Is there one memory in particular that sticks out from the Buffalo Bill Rodeo? Oh, gosh. No, it, I mean, every year it's just such a, a good rodeo. There's a reason we're in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Both the committee and the rodeo. So, I mean, it's just it's just an all-around good rodeo. <laughs> definitely. Well, that's definitely true this year. We're talking ahead of the second performance on Thursday night, but you've yes. been busy with Slack and um, the first performance on Wednesday night. What can people expect here this evening? Oh, gosh. Uh, make sure you get here in time for the bareback riding. Uh, we have some uh, big-name cowboys up in the bareback. If anybody's familiar with... Uh, Mr. Rocker Steiner, he is entered tonight. Um, he's always a flamboyant uh, bareback rider in the <laughs> arena. Some like him, some don't, but he is he is making a name in the sport for himself. Um, we do have a lot of top name guys up in other events. The bull riding is always a huge attraction. We start with bulls, we'll end with bulls. Uh, the specialty act is a little 13 year old, uh, Liberty Cunningham, and she is phenomenal going to be a, a big star someday. I mean, she's already getting there, but she's <laughs> she's fun to watch. Absolutely. Well, Shelly, I've known you for many years, and something I've always admired about you is how willing you are to help your community. What advice would you give someone uh, when it comes to getting involved in their community, whether that be rodeo or not? No matter what, um, if you are asked to be on a committee or whatever, follow through for the right reasons. Definitely. Show up, do the job. Well, Shelly has been at various events throughout Nebraska Land Days this past week, and we'll let her get back to her real job coordinating rodeo duties ahead of the second performance tonight. But thanks for joining us. Thank you.